trying to keep this family friendly, guys. We're gonna bust some nuts in this crack, in real rock, and not in the slack lab. Just like uh, we realized we needed to do the moment we <laughs> broke a few in the slack snap lab. Yeah, we're gonna find out if it comes out of the rock before the wires break. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinx and I am on the big island of Hawaii and today we are going to <laughs> test <laughs> a micro nut. We're going to start with this little guy and I'm going to place it here so you can see uh, and judge my placement and we'll just kind of see what fits in this crack and just go from there and let the rock tell us what to do where the rock whispers today instead of trying to just test micro nuts or just try to test the big ones. All right, just wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, oh. Wood whip. Good luck getting that one out when we're done. So we go from our nut to our line scale two. We have a bolt to catch it. And then our am steel thing goes to a redirect nine to one. And then we just multiply it as much as we need. So uh, let's get pulling. Go for it. Wow, that's pretty impressive for a micro nut. Already adding the super multiplier. Guess the force. What do you think it is? 12? Nine. Nine. Yeah, you guessed high this time. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's some hairy wire. That is a good placement. Hopefully it's, uh, I can get that out. That would hold a whipper. A whipper is about six. Yeah. That would whip. Super happy I got this out. A little hammering, a little nut tool. And it looks like we got a six kilonewton MBS and a nine kilonewton result. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's super, super good for our, maybe we can place a marginal one now. Yeah. So here we're gonna do a number four stopper that's six kilonewtons and not a, a brassy. I'm gonna place it in the same placement. This time I'm not gonna place it in as deep, it just kind of like, you know, sits right there. And then we'll use some of these bigger cracks down here for uh, some of the bigger ones we've got. Holy cow. Ooh, this is interesting. This was an interesting result at 7.13 kilonewtons. I don't know what that fuzz is doing. I don't know where that came from. So it is rated for six kilonewtons and it gave us seven. So super good enough, but less than a brassy. I cannot believe it. What are you guys discovering? That in the middle of this, wire we broke, there's actually a filament. You can kind of see it up What there. is it for? My guess is it's probably what they start the braid with mm. and then they wrap around it. But then again, that is just a completely pulling that out of my ass, so. So we got the nut out. It basically broke at the top where the wire takes that sharp bend and the nut's all scratched up. So here's our next placement with a 10 kilonewton MBS sitting in there nice and pretty. Yep, you're at half a kilonewton and catcher's good. I hear it. Oh, buddy, that was violent. Is that what happened? Hold. Hold on, hold on. I thought peak was on. Damn it. But that's not even interesting compared to what happened. Oh, no way. Yeah. So inside, let's oh, yeah, start with this. Inside, the wire bounced back through the head. It came off and out or whatever. And then the shock from this. So it, this was the hole. Yeah. Where's the, what's the, it, it snapped the head. Yeah. It didn't pull the bolt out. No, it snapped it. I think that's an example of shock loading because from this, it looks like that failed, then this failed. But Th yeah, this failed. Second. So you're really good at guessing forces since we didn't have peak force. Oh gosh, so that fell to me probably like, you know, around 17 to 20 kilonewtons. 
so it's probably a little lower. It's a, probably 13 to 15 with the redirect. I would say that's probably accurate. You're cranking and it's a 10 kilonewton MBS. And what's interesting, so the bend up here is less of an issue than the bend around the carabiner. And this wire doesn't seem to have any fuzz in it. Okay, so here's our next nut placement. What makes this different is it goes around the corner but pulled direct since we don't really wanna do the redirect method anymore. And I'm gonna stand above this to try to capture this and we have our slow-mo. So let's find out what the big nut does. That is just intensely scary yeah. standing right next to it. <laughs> 9.6 kilonewtons is interesting and in that the wire broke where the carabiner was. I just can't imagine that nut coming out of such a tight constriction, but I was imagining this to be stronger. So there is a brand, Wild Country Rock number eight. It's scratched up, but in pretty good shape other than the fact that it's broken. 